It seemed like a typical morning on Chapman Street. Kids were boarding school buses. The mailman was making his rounds. But late Wednesday night, it was anything but typical. All we know is we just heard the shooting last night and... When we got called 911, it was too late. They was dead, both of them. Mary Babbitt lives across the street from 1108 Chapman. That's the white wood frame house where her nephew, 22-year-old Cornelius Harris, and his fiancée, 36-year-old Felicia Ruffin, were gunned down. Blood was still visible on the front door. Only a few feet away, the bicycle Harris used to get to work. John Capps was a longtime friend of Harris, who was also known as Snoop. Caps lives around the corner. They were both very kind people, um, you know, uh, seemed to be active with the neighbors and, and talking in the community. Yeah. How does this make you feel? Uh, sad. I, I hate that. Uh, it's lost, lost, lost two good people, it sounds like. Um, it's, um, it, it breaks my heart. By midday, Harris's mother had joined a throng of shocked family, friends, and neighbors. I can't bring him back to me. I hate this. You just want the person brought to justice for this. Yes, I do. Very much. Very, very much. I want to brought to justice for both of them, for Felicia and my son. In fact, police had this man in custody at the scene. Witnesses say 26-year-old Travon Brown was shot in the hand during a scuffle with Harris. Sources say the shootings may be related to some sort of a domestic dispute, but as police try to find a motive and more clues, family members are preparing to say goodbye to loved ones and trying to make sense of this tragedy. In Tupelo, I'm Allie Martin, WCBI News.